Okay, guys, we're going to talk about latitude and longitude today. Um, I'm just on page eight, so I want to explain this to you so when you do latitude and longitude today, you're not confused, okay? All right, so latitude and longitude, it says maps and globes use imaginary lines of latitude and longitude to show the positions of different places. Latitude lines are parallel horizontal lines. Latitudes are also called parallels. The parallel at the center of the globe is the equator. The equator is located at zero degrees. Parallels above the equator are labeled in degrees north. And those below are labeled degrees south. Longitude lines run up and down. And as they circle the globe, they intersect at the north and south poles. All right, so I'm going to draw a quick little globe here. And I'm going to split it into parts here because you're going to learn about the other one, I think, on lesson five. So here is, this is your equator. And it is zero degrees latitude. Okay? And it has a special name of equator because it is zero, okay? And you have to do a little degrees mark. On this line, it is the prime meridian. Um, it has a special name because it's also zero degrees, but this time it is longitude, not latitude. All right, so the best way to remember this is latitude is flatitude, okay? So lat, flat. Um, longitude would be your prime meridian, which is long. So it runs from north to south. All right, so there's prime meridian, which is a longitude line, and your equator is your latitude line, okay? I'm gonna put longitude right there so you can see it. When you write them out um, in a pair, which we'll learn how to do, the latitude always comes first. And you usually separate them by a comma. And the way I remember that is kind of alphabetically. LA comes before LO in the alphabet. So anything that I find that's latitude is going to come first. And then anything that's longitude will come second. Okay. So um, in your book, it shows a globe. Okay. It shows a world map here. It shows all these different numbers. And all the lines that are parallel, remember parallel are lines that run side by side, but they never ever touch. Okay, that's parallel. And if we think about our globe, let's go ahead and label it north, south, east, and west. Okay, so if we're thinking about northwest, we're thinking about areas that are located in this area. If we're thinking about northeast, it's in this area. Uh, southwest is here, and then southeast would be here, okay? So United States is always up here because we're in the northwest region, okay? All right, so in your book, it asks us to trace over the zero degrees latitude, remember? That's your equator, okay? So you're going to trace over that. And then this would be your prime meridian, which they don't ask you that yet. So now you have to place a triangle over the latitude line at 30 degrees south. All right, so now we have to label them. In your book, they're already labeled for you. So north is up here. So anything above this line is what? North. Anything below this line is south, which makes sense, of course. Um, let's see. So 30 degrees south. So you're going to find your line. Let's pretend um, this one is 30. And we're going to find this latitude line. Okay? Which would be there. And then it says put a triangle on it. So it doesn't matter. As long as it's on this line somewhere, you can put a triangle there. Um, then it asks you to put an X on the latitude at 0 degrees 60. 60 uh, degrees. I think it's north. Yes, north. So let's say this is it. You would come over and you would put an X somewhere on this line. Okay? Remember, anytime they ask you about latitude, you're thinking lines that go this way. Latitude, cross, parallel. Anytime they ask you about longitude, you're going to think about those lines that go from up and down. 
So prime meridian are a little different than latitude lines. Um, the longitude lines are a little different because they all touch at the top and bottom, but they don't touch in the middle, but they kind of, kind of come together. It reminds me of like, um, kind of like a pumpkin. Pumpkin's kind of like that. So, and all of those lines would be those lines of longitude because they go up and down. Um, let's see, number five, look at it real quick. It says, how would you label the 60 degrees south latitude line? Well, that question, it seems like it's, it's almost too easy, but that's all they want you to do is how would you label 60 degrees south line? You're actually going to write 60 degrees south, so it'd be S for south. So don't make it too hard. It's pretty simple. All right, so just make sure that you know latitude is flatitude, parallel. Longitude is north to south, okay? All right, do your lesson, do well.